Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we are continuing the series of accepting every single trade that is tossed in our generic direction. All right, so if we get a trade request, we have to accept it. But that does not mean that I can't update the trading block to be something specific. We still get a lot of trades regardless, so it doesn't really matter. That way we can actually be competitive. I'm using some custom roster that I found that has the latest contract signings and whatnot, but it seems like they also did some X factor adding and probably some player overall adjustments, but I'm okay with it. Let's run with it anyway and just see what we can do here. It keeps it fresh and exciting. Let's start the career. I did it again, guys. I forgot to do the expansion, and that way we're not going to get as many trades. All right, time to reset it up once more. Luckily, this roster provides a team. I didn't even think of that, but that is huge. Okay, I think I did it right this time. Let's see if I'm devastated by the player they take this time. Auto-generate, and the always inaccurate draft lottery results. Sim to the expansion draft. We lose Scott Mayfield. Yeah, that is actually pretty upsetting. I will say, though, that one doesn't cut as deep as some of the other ones, but it's still unfortunate. Let's go ahead and Sim to pick okay well then never mind i'm out we don't have to deal with contracts because of the fact that we added a contract year and we have a contract limit warning but that's okay i'll let them fix that for me we are now at free agency it is time to update the trading block trade block has been updated all these players were already here i didn't even have to add them but yeah we're looking for players pretty much between the age of 28 and 50 and then it has two specific player roles in the forwards i think it's a fourth line forward and a second line forward and we're willing to trade all of our draft picks We'll take anything. Let the floodgates open. Sim to next season. We get a trade here. Jan Ruta for two seconds. All right, we'll accept it from the Montana team. We're getting more for a fifth round pick. Sure, why not? Gostas Bear and Bjugstad in exchange for Nelson and a fourth. Except Nykvist for a third and a fifth. A lot of our draft picks going out the window here. We're losing... Pajot and Ledoux, and we're getting back Borgo and Keith. So I will accept that one as well because I have no choice. Hands are tied here. We get Nieto in exchange for a sixth round pick. How many draft picks do we have? I feel like we got to be trading some of next year's as well. We're getting Jay Keith in exchange for Matt Martin. I'm a little upset about that one, but what can you do? We actually got a very long break here. Wow. All right. That wasn't too many. It's a lot more than the one that I had in the first time I tried this, but still, that wasn't too bad. Yeah, there's a lot of abilities going around here. Like, why does the Seekers have an X-Factor? I'm so confused. It's very balanced around the league because there's just abilities everywhere, but still, it feels so random almost. We got two plus fives on defense back here. This roster is very interesting to say the least. So once again, I've updated the trade blocks. Simeon Varlamov is still here on the team, and I feel like they don't really trade for goalies very often, so he's probably going to stay here. Our surplus is the entire organization is on the block. And then our wants is kind of specific, but still pretty generic. Let's start the sim and see how many trades we end up getting. And if the team is going to be any good. We looked all right, but again, there is X factors and abilities all around the league right now. Seemingly randomly added, but I feel like there is some sort of method to the madness. We finally got a trade and we're losing Beauvillier in exchange for Suter. So we're getting another defenseman. Accept it and see what our team is going to look like with Suter in the lineup. Are we going to get another set of... Oh no. Wait, never mind. I had it set up like that, but I think that kind of ruins it because the second line no longer has Beauvillier. So maybe I'll just keep the plus three up there exclusively. Suter is here. I can move him down and make this a plus five, which I am probably gonna do, honestly. Yeah, why wouldn't I? I kind of like this. We're not getting a whole lot of trades. We're, we're sort of just floating here. I mean, our team isn't doing great by any means, but hopefully we can turn this ship around. Oh, wow. This is a big one. We're losing Gostaspare and Keith, and we're getting Biteto. Is that how you pronounce that? Maybe? And Hurdle, which is a big forward for us. So let's accept that trade and try to plug him into the lineup now. What is our team gonna look like with Hurdle. Not too much different. Palmieri's down here. I could move him up. Holy crap, we can get a plus five on this second line with this. He is a right-handed player, and he's a center, though. I kind of want to put him in. What is... Oh, Andres Lee has 78 face-offs. He's fine. I can actually put him in here, then, because he has one better. So that works. And we get a plus five there. We get the plus one up here with Hurdle on the left wing. Nykvist on the right side. Our defense looks like this. We have Romanov here. He's getting a plus five now. And then we still got Pulak and Pelik right here making a plus five. We're doing quite well with Hurdle. We have won, what is that, six of our last seven now? And we lose to Philly, but that was a great run. Wallstrom is headed to Montana in exchange for McNabb. That does break up our plus five, which I'm a little upset about and kind of salty. So Montana, 
I hope you do awful this season. But anyway, we still got the plus three there. McNabb is going to make this one a three, but I'll move him up and make this one a plus five. The same overall anyway. What's the difference? Wow, apparently that line was doing everything for us because as soon as that trade was made, we lose four games in a row. I love that for us. There's a lot of players here I think would be fun to try and get. Obviously, if our law mob is still here, can I try to find a trade? Oh, I can find trades. We can take McCabe or we can get two draft picks. We already have a lot of defensemen though. That's my problem, but... Two seconds. Maybe we could use those two seconds. All right, let's accept it. We have to accept one of them. Can we find a trade for Patrice? Oh my word, we can. Now I have to accept one of them. I will absolutely be accepting one of these. What the heck? All right, there you go. Two seconds and Borgo for Patrice. Accept. I think that's the only trade I'm going to try for right now. Obviously, we made the Varlamov one, so he's off the team. And we now have Patrice Bergeron, so that is going to be big for us. I could try to get Mike Smith to be our backup. Is it worth it? Because if I go in and we have a trade there, I have to take one of them. Or if there's only one option, then I have to take it. All right, we didn't get any for Smith, so that's all right. I'll chill here for a minute. I usually wait till like 8 a.m. or so, 7 a.m., something like that, and then just kind of assume we're not getting any trades. Wow, really, Montana? You're going to steal Scott Mayfield from us and then go and trade him for Barkley Goudreau, a second and a six. That's actually a pretty good trade for them. Semyon Varlamov went to Seattle for those two picks. And did we use one of those two picks for the Bergeron? I know there was seconds involved. We used a New York Rangers second. So no, I think it was a different... Oh, wait. Never mind. We use both of them, it looks like. So essentially, minus one player there in Borgo, we use Semyon Varlamov to get Patrice Bergeron. That's a decent trade-off. Detroit acquires Perunovic, Bolduc, and Robertson in exchange for Sherratt, Osterley, and a fourth. Another trade going on down there. Flyers trade Braun and a third. Oh, and a fifth in exchange for... Two people I have never heard of. Should I try it just for fun? I'm gonna do it. Voracek, okay. I'm kind of relieved that they're- Oh! We're getting a trade offer. Holden for Holmstrom, Leno, a 6th and a 7th. There you go, Ottawa. All right, it is now past 8 a.m. We have not received any more trades. I'll look at the summary real quick here to see if any more moves have been made. Radko Gudis has been traded to Vancouver in exchange for Myers and a second. Voracek heads to Chicago with a third in exchange for Connor Murphy. Obviously, we know the trade with Nick Holden because we acquired him. Toronto trades Wayne Simmons. How dare you? All right, that right, that is my cue. I'm out. So here's the final roster. We have Nyquist, Barzal, and Hurdle with a plus one. And then we have Lee, Palmieri, and Bailey. Clutterbuck, Zizekas, and Bjugstad, Nieto, Panic, and Parise on the fourth line. Defensively, I want this to be a plus five. Thank you very much. Hmm. Now I'll leave it like that. Pelic and Pulak still making the plus five, and the rest is pretty much the same in net. We have Sorokin backed up by Corey. Okay, good thing I noticed. Why on earth did they send Patrice Bergeron down to the minors? I kind of forgot we obtained him. So let's make that change quick. Our new first line is going to be Hurdle, Bergeron, and Barzal. Who has... Um, yeah, Bergeron definitely has a better face-off. So I was going to say, hold on a second. 95. It is Patrice. That guy is a legend in the dot. Then we have Palmieri, Bailey Lee, Clutterbuck, Zizekas, and Bjugstad. Okay, why is Nyquist all the way down here? Hold the phone. Palmieri can go there. And you know what? Palmieri can play on the fourth line then i have no problem with that do we have anyone with decent face-offs here no no we do not will this ruin it yes it will all right this is the final lineup i've decided there you have it defense move suitor down you already know the rest let's simulate see if we can make the playoffs four overtime games in a row five in a row there we go we finally broke it but then another one right after a few losses in a row that is going to be killer especially coming down to the final games here we're in the last week can we qualify? We're right there. Oh my word. Did we do it? I think we did. Yes, we made it. The Avalanche win the President's Trophy with 120 points. A convincing President's Trophy for them. 57 wins on the year. A 73.2 point percentage. Where did we finish is the real question. We finished 11th in the league, so that's pretty good. And how many teams above 16 made it? I think LA is the only team out of the... 
top 16 there. Bergeron had the most points with 78. Barzell had 77. Bailey put up 58. Hurd only put up 57, which is a little bit concerning. I might change up the lines a little bit here. We'll see. Sorokin and Schneider both did good, actually. I mean, Schneider only played six games, but a 915-255 from Ilya. And then Corey had a 929 and 214. That is very, very respectable. Vasilevsky led the league with 44 wins, and he had a 917 save percentage while he did it, 253 GAA. We got a 921 from Igor. Is there any other 920 or above? No, there is not. Bobrovsky was pretty close, and so was Merzlikens. Makar led defenseman with 77 points. Quinn Hughes had 68. We got 66 from Hedman and McAvoy. Three players broke 100 this year. Dreisaitl, McDavid, and Sebastian Aho all did it. We got... How many goals here from Ovechkin? 56. And it looks like he's probably going to win the Rocket Richard again with that. This probably seems weird, but a plus five on the second line, I'm here for it. So I'm going to try to run with these guys. And then the first line will be Hurdle, Bergeron, and Nyquist. We're probably going to get deleted in the first round anyway, so I don't think it really matters. But we're definitely going to give it the good old-fashioned try. Will Tampa Bay delete? Oh, wow. Hello? What just happened? I did not see that coming. We just swept Tampa Bay, and then we get ruined by the Bruins in five games. We only took one from them, and they went on to win the Stanley Cup, so it was a great playoff run for the Bruins, clearly. Pasta had the most playoff points with 30, and he was tied with Marchand, actually. So one of them is probably going to win the Conn Smythe. As we saw, the Boston Bruins won the Stanley Cup, Colorado won the President's Trophy, and LA made it to the finals against the Bruins. Here are the individual trophies. So yeah, Leon won the Art Ross, as we saw there. Kale McCarr with the Norris, that's huge. Zegris gets the Calder. Pasta did end up up getting the Conn Smythe. Bob and Merzlikens getting the Jennings and Vesna respectively. Hamannick gets the Masterton and we have Ovechkin back here with the Rocket Richard. Let's check out the playoff tree, shall we? Here you go. The Boston Bruins made light work other than the first round. They did it in Six games in the conference finals. They beat us in five, and they won the Stanley Cup in five. Well, thank you guys for watching. Be sure to continue leaving comments for what team you want to see next, and I will be seeing you soon.